Hello friends, hope you guys are doing good. In today's video, we will be discussing about the forgetting curve and why it is actually fundamental to how we learn and how we can approach learning. So firstly, let me just give you a small example, a small experience that I had with the forgetting curve. It was during exam time. I had about two weeks to study for this exam and I thought I'll allocate one chapter for one day. But remember that I never gave any time for actually revising the chapter. So each day I was tackling a new subject, a new chapter. And then what ended up happening was that by the end of two weeks, I had actually completely forgotten what I had studied for the first 10 days. So what did we actually learn from this? Firstly, I think it was really dumb for me to think that I could just study a subject once, a chapter once, and then not look back upon it once again. The second one, is that the forgetting curve. The fact that even though I studied the chapter once perfectly, eventually, because I did not um, review it, I completely forgot about it. So this is kind of how our brain works. If we do not review the, the, the material again and again, we tend to forget it. So in order to understand why truly we forget, a German psychologist by the name Ebbinghaus actually did a study. So in this study, where the subject was actually himself. What he did was he memorized a bunch of three-letter words. These nonsensical three-letter words, for example, lab, dab, cab, which he has no relation to, he wanted to memorize them. And what he found out was that after memorizing all these words, by the next day, by the very next day, he forgot about 75% of the information. And within three days, he actually forgot most of the words that he had memorized. So you can actually guess how much I actually remembered by the end of 10 days of not reviewing the topic. This means that the brain forgets information at an exponential rate provided that it is not recalled or it is not reviewed. When we cram for an exam, the information might be present in our short term memory and we might just master a pass. But looking at the long game, you know, that information will not be retained for the long run. So how do we tackle this? How do we prevent this issue? Yes, the simple answer is to actually review the subjects or review the chapters that we are actually studying. It's no rocket science, I'm sure you and me, we both know that. But there's a catch to it. It actually depends on how we review the topic. One thing to note while reviewing the topic is that we should not simply read the topic. Rather, we should test ourselves on it. Because simply reading the topic gives us an illusion that we are studying, an illusion that we actually know the subject. But when we test ourselves, that's when we know that, okay, we, I don't know this or I don't know that. I have actually talked about this in the previous video, the Feynman technique. I think it is a great tool that you can use to actually test yourself to know the areas where you are weak on and the areas where you are strong on. So each time when we review the topic, what happens is that it takes longer for us to actually forget the topic. This means that we are actually retaining the information better. Now, there are a couple of things that actually determine the forgetting curve. There are some things that we never forget, like our best friend's name or the embarrassing moment we had in school. Why is that? It is because this information actually has an emotional aspect to it. When information is actually tied to emotion, we do not forget the information easily. You can actually take advantage of this. What you need to do is that, always try to correlate the things that you study with the day-to-day -day examples. So that this way, you can actually retain the information better. So the next one is actually the amount of information that we are studying each day. For example, when we take amoxicillin, we usually need to take three tablets one day. So the dosage is actually 1500 milligrams per day and we divide it by three doses. Similarly, in one day itself, we can actually divide our studies into three parts. Not to study one topic in the morning, the whole thing, rather try to split it. Study some in the morning, in the evening, and in the lunch time. So this way you can actually space the intervals of studying in one day itself. Similarly, taking the same example with the antibiotics. You know, the course of one week, antibiotic therapy for one week, we are not taking it on a single day. We rather split it into seven days. Similarly, we have to split our studies in such a way that we can finish it over a span of one week 
rather than cramming it all in one single day. So this is the gist of the forgetting curve and I hope you guys learned something new. So in the coming videos, I'll try to explain how we can actually incorporate space repetition into our studies and hopefully make the best use of our time. So that is it for today. I hope this video added some value to your life. If it did, please give it a like and also subscribe for further videos and I'll see you in the next one.